name is Shirley Parker, and um, I was actually born and raised as a Catholic. I attended Catholic school in all my life, from kindergarten to college. In fact, I graduated from one of the oldest Catholic schools in the Philippines, University of Santa Tomas. Catholicism is the only religion that I knew. You will think my roadmap to life will be straight and smooth, since I have the foundation of living in God's principle. But I did not. I took a left turn and got caught up with the superficiality of life at an early age. I was a disappointment and a disgrace to God and my parents. I got pregnant at the age of 19, got married and separated after two years of marriage. I was a single mom at the age of 21. This was the start of the trials that made me look where God is in my life. I was given the opportunity to come to America and work as a registered nurse. I met Billy, who was a traveling nurse from Kentucky. We got married and there was a slight problem. He was a Mormon. And I really don't know and understand Mormonism. It contradicted my Catholic beliefs, and just not to cause any problem, I converted to Mormonism. The more I studied Mormonism, the more I got confused. At one point, I remember praying to God and said in my prayers that even though I'm at the Mormon church, I'm not really praying to their God. I don't really believe it Joseph me. It gave me a realization and I cannot deny it anymore. The more they teach me about the prophets, Joseph Smith, the more I long for God. But how can I tell my husband this strong realization that his church is not a true church? I don't want to rock the boat, so to speak. So I chose to be quiet while my faith was battling a lot of questions. But I guess God has a plan for us. I was invited by my friends to special events here at Golden Hills, namely the Harvest Festival and the Ladies Extravaganza. I have never attended a church service, but I always feel comfortable going to this church. When my husband asked me to explore and to try going to a different church, I told him I always wanted to attend a church service at Golden Hills. And I'm so glad I did because I felt the spirit. I felt peace and joy as I sing the songs praising Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. And to top it all, my husband wanted us to continue going to Golden Hills. So we decided to attend the Discovery class to learn more about Jesus Christ. The more I attended the class, the more I wanted to know Him. All my life, I have always believed in God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. One time I asked the Discovery class teacher if he personally believed that God and Jesus Christ are one. I think my teacher is actually here. I just saw him earlier. <laughs> I have always believed that they are a different persona. I asked around them what their beliefs on it, googled it, read scriptural verses from the Bible, gave me a sleepless night and questioned my faith. Then it hit me. I never really had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. I never really accepted, accepted him as my personal savior. I never truly grasped how big his love for me. It was in this moment that I accepted Jesus Christ as my savior. Looking back, I was baptized as a child in the Catholic Church because that was a gift from my parents. I was baptized in the Mormon Church because my husband was part of the Mormon Church. This time I'm being baptized in the Christian faith because I know I wanted it. That he died on the cross to save me and that Jesus Christ is my true Redeemer. As a Christian, I learned that we are all saved through grace. All of a sudden, this song, Amazing Grace, sounded so beautifully and meaningful to me. I was once lost, but now I am found. I was blind, but now I see. Now it all made sense to me. It humbles me to know that God loves me despite my imperfections. We are still attending discovery class, and the more I know about Jesus, the more I want to be Christ-like. May be mindful of my action, 
choosing to see the good in others and removes the neg negativity in my life. I love going to church, hearing his words, and singing joyfully to him. He is slowly changing my life to be a better person and a better Christian. Amen. Surely, based on your confession of Jesus Christ as your Savior and on your commitment to follow him as the Lord of your life, it's a privilege for me today to baptize you as my sister in Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 